Welcome to the 901. Memphis basketball's non-conference schedule is coming together. The Tigers will play a short tournament in the house that Mickey Mouse built. Memphis will play in the ESPN Events Invitational the week of Thanksgiving. The tourney is played at ESPN's Wide World of Sports Complex in Disney World in Orlando. Memphis will open against Seton Hall and also have Nebraska and Oklahoma on their side of the bracket. They're guaranteed at least three games in the tourney. Former Memphis Tiger turned NBA rookie Josh Minot has made it official with the Timberwolves. He has officially signed his rookie deal. I'm aware number eight for the T-Wolves, not number seven. In five games of summer league, Minot averaged 12 points and eight boards. Memphis football is looking ahead. They've scheduled a home and home series with Middle Tennessee State that will see Memphis host the Blue Raiders in 2024 and then head to Murfreesboro in 2027. The two squads last faced each other in 2014, a 36-17 win for Memphis, but the Blue Raiders have the edge in the series 16-10. Memphis defensive back Quindell Johnson is on the Bronco Nagurski Trophy preseason watch list. The award is given to the nation's defensive player of the year. Johnson also on the watch list for the Paycom Jim Thorpe Award. He's a two-time All-AAC pick, second team pick that is, who had 104 tackles and 11 pass breakups in 2021. And this week, Cardinals legend Yadier Molina will be in Memphis. The catcher is expected to start a rehab assignment for the Redbirds on Thursday while he recovers from a knee injury. Now, Molina has spent all 19 years of his career with the Cardinals and is currently batting 213 this year with two home runs and 10 RBIs. The 11-time All-Star is expected to retire at the end of the year. That does it for the 901 in 91. I'm Avery Braxton.